Let me just, uh, first of all, uh, thank, thank the, the media for covering today. Uh, we just had a summer strategy meeting. Uh, we had many partners in the city of Boston, uh, obviously behind me. You're going to hear from Commissioner Evans in a few minutes. Uh, you're going to hear from the District Attorney, Dan Conley. Uh, we have members of the faith-based community, the clergy. We had members of the nonprofit community. We had the sheriffs, Sheriff, uh, Suffolk County Sheriff, Steve Tompkins office represented, uh, BCYF, Boston Center for Youth and Families. And basically what we, we spoke about was, was where we are in the city uh, compared to last year, uh, as far as this time last year. And, and we, we, we did this meeting a little early this year because we've had a little a little more activity in certain areas of the city of Boston this year. And what we wanted to do was pull together all the resources and all the programming that we have in the city of Boston. And when you think about all of the work that's being done in the city of Boston, there's an incredible amount of work being done to really focus on the, the young people in our city. Uh, we talked about working to improve and, and raise the number of summer jobs that we're going to have this year. We're working with our nonprofit partners, our, our for-profit companies in the city of Boston who have been willing to step up and, and hire more young people. We're working on revamping our own youth worker program in the city of Boston uh, and making sure that we have more conduits out to the community. In this year's budget, we have additional trauma services in, in our community, working to really deal with the effects of violence. But we're also working on new ways of reaching out to, the, reaching out to parents, reaching out to young people about how do we prevent them from, from, from an act of violence. And that was a lot of the focus of today's meeting. Uh, we're going to be continuing to work on the street worker program. We're going to be continuing the street walks, the peace walks. All things are important. But I know that the questions that will come from you when this is over is what about this shooting and what about that shooting? What, the intention for today is to end violence and reduce the violence in the city of Boston. That's the intention of this conversation today. It's about dealing with the root cause of violence in the city of Boston. You know, when you, when you compare Boston to other, city, other major cities around America, we are a very safe city. But that doesn't mean anything for me. When we have, and it doesn't mean anything for the commissioner. When we have one homicide and we have to notify a parent that they lost their, their child, that's a, that's a terrible situation to be in. And what we want to do is, is reduce that number this year. So I commend all the folks that are here today, and I'd like to turn the, the, the microphone over to Commissioner Evans, and then uh, District Attorney Dan Colley is going to speak. And we have a bunch of people here from civic engagement in the city of Boston. We have people from the faith-based community here. Uh, we have people from, as I said, all different people, so we can answer just about any question that you might have. Commissioner. Thanks, Mr. Mayor, and I want to thank everyone for coming to this meeting. I think it, the whole idea with the meeting was to pull all our partners together and have the best strategy going forward so we don't have any young kids shot in our city over the summer. You know, we, we went over all the programs we're going to have to engage with the kids, whether it's, you know, uh, the Teen to Police Academy, Youth Police Dialogues, um, you know, so many, you know, the tennis programs, the basketball. We do so much with the kids, uh, but also talk about, um, you know, where we need to deploy. Um, we just put on a class, thanks, thanks to the mayor of 97 officers who are out in the districts now. I'm hoping that will allow us to put more officers out on foot as well as on bicycles. You know, we have a, a citywide bike unit who are deployed based where the violence is, but we're looking to get more visibility out there in the playgrounds, in the parks, everywhere with the whole idea of working with the community and prevent violence. We talked about mothers groups helping us be proactive to prevent violence, but all in all, it was a, a very productive meeting. Um, we're all going to work together to try to make this the safest city. We started out with prayer, and we ended it with prayer, hoping we have a, a peaceful summer. So far this year, we've taken almost 270 guns off the street. Um, you know, the last couple of days, I think we took three or four off a day. So we're trying our hardest, you know, to solve this violence issue. It's not about taking guns. It's about all of us working together, the police, the community, the district attorney's office, all of us, the parents, community leaders, because, you know, working together is the only way we're going to solve this. You know, I'm proud to say every year our crime has been going down under Mayor Walsh. Our arrests have been coming down. Um, you know, all that the only thing that we continually have problems with is young kids shooting young kids. And that's going to be our main focus to stop the violence this summer. So I want to thank everyone for coming. I also want to thank the media for covering it because we all have to work together. And you getting the word out will get people mobilized, hopefully, to help us. So thank you. With that, I'm going to turn it over to District Attorney Dan Conley. Commissioner, thank you very much. I start uh, 
making an observation as just a citizen of Boston who's lived here my entire life. I want to thank the mayor and the police commissioner for the tremendous uh, planning and preparation that's gone into this summer strategy. It was very impressive, and they are well prepared to deal with anything that may come this summer. So congratulations to them, and thank you to them, as, as we all should be thankful to them as citizens for the work that they've put into this preparation. But gun violence or violence and gun violence in particular is a, is is impulsive generally so they can only do so much and they've worked very hard to, to put a lot of things in place so that kids don't resort to picking up guns and shooting one another so the message i guess that i would send as the district attorney now is this please take advantage of the programs and the opportunities that are in place for you this summer but arrayed to my left and right there are so many people that want to help you and my hope for you is that you, in fact, will take that opportunity and not resort to joining gangs, picking up guns, or using violence. But I will say this. If you do, then we are going to come down on you very hard in our office anyways. We are going to try to hold you accountable and keep you off of the street this summer. That's not what you want. That's not what we want. So please, take advantage of these many programs. And if you're a community-based organization and you're not here today, I'd ask you to reach out to the police department and join in. If you care about this issue, join us to make this the safest summer in the history of the city of Boston. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask uh, one, more, one more person to come to this microphone. Uh, one of the things that I hear and the commissioner hears a lot is untreated trauma. Uh, when, when a young person experiences violence, when a community experiences violence, um, how do we respond to that in getting the proper services out to the community to talk to these young people that are hurting because their friend, their brother, their sister, their cousin, uh, somebody they're connected with lost their life? And we've really been focusing in the last two years, three years here now in the city in specific trauma teams. And the person that leads that team is, is no stranger to Boston. Uh, he's a spiritual leader in our city, but he's also a leader in the trauma service. I'd like to ask Mark Scott to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, and, and thank you to, to all of the folks who have spoken so far. Uh, it, it really is the working together that will make the difference. Uh, as the mayor said, the city has uh, trauma teams that are buried in part of the neighborhoods that we're most concerned about. So those teams are, are, are in the neighborhoods. They're, 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 they have capacity to get people into uh, services, uh, both practical concrete services, but also mental health services, so that people can be on the road to recovery after some violent incident has happened. We also have a team uh, that is Boston Trauma Response that is part of JRI. They're part of our network. They uh, are able to move around the city. I'm holding in my hand a, a card that we give to people uh, when they're impacted by trauma that we give to people when, when we're at a scene. And so the card talks about, and there's a larger brochure that talks about what is trauma, how do you know it's impacting uh, your health, your ability to, to cope, to go to school, to go to work, to build relationships, uh, what you can do about it, and who to call for help. The who to call for help is a hotline number that's on the back of the card. And so if someone calls that number, uh, we will respond, uh, uh, we'll reach out to them, talk to them about uh, how you can get connected to services that will help you recover from your exposure to seeing or being, being exposed to some violence in the community that gets you on the road to recovery and to healing. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. And uh, one last thing, uh, Chief Garage just whispered in my ear. This is probably one of the most productive some meetings we've had in the last five years. Uh, we just hope that it's the most effective, and as the summer goes on, we will know how that works. Uh, open up for questions for anybody who's questions for me, the Commissioner, Dan Conley, Mark Scott. We're going to be, whether it's a peace walk, uh, whether it's, it's, it's helping identify some young people that might need help, maybe it's a summer job, maybe, maybe it's just a, a hug, maybe you know, some, some, some mothers and families need help, uh, it, whatever, whatever it is, we have services in the city between all of our efforts that, that, in the Sheriff's Department and the District Attorney's Office that we can actually help. Uh, and I think that you know, Commissioner Evans talks a lot about if, if a parent identifies a young per one of their young people in their home has a gun, if they call us out to go out to pick the gun up, we will do that. But also, we, we will provide opportunity services for that family to help them with some of the situations that families are dealing with. Mayor, 
we, we're still working on it. We talked about a strategy and said, I'm not, we, we're just putting it all together now, but we have a lot of mothers groups in the city of Boston. Is there an opportunity for us to, to mobilize some of the mothers to do, to do visits? Uh, Father Doc Conway, who was here, uh, talked about uh, going to young people's homes that might have dropped out of high school. Uh, they're kind of in the shadows. Is there an opportunity for us to go to those homes, get those young people, re-engage them, whether it's a summer job or a program, so that we don't, they don't fall off the chart and we lose them forever? Things like that. In, in some neighborhoods, people, uh, when we do the peace walks at the 12th Baptist Church, uh, Pastor Gerald literally knocks on doors of families, and they, people come out and they see us and we talk about it. So how do we get more engaged in opportunities like that as far as reaching out to different communities in different neighborhoods? Shooting this death. year, I believe, um, right now, I think about our homicide right now um, is 16 for the year. I think three of them were stabbed. So we have, you know, and so we are up right now um, six homicides from where we were last year. But tomorrow, last year, we had four. It was the day the doctors died, which is, is sad, and two others. So, if we, knock on wood, if we don't have any today, then we'll be down two tomorrow. So, the good thing is we're down almost 10 shootings so far this year from last year. So, overall, gun violence is down. Uh, unfortunately, we had a, uh, two more deaths than we will have uh, as of tomorrow. So, uh, again, we've, we've We've taken 270 guns off the street. A lot of young kids, which is concerning. You know, last week we had a 16 and 18 year old fire shots behind the building, and the officers chased them down. So when we talk about strategy, we talk about getting the guns out of these young kids' hands. And, and it just can't be a police problem because somehow they're getting them. We need the mothers to help us. Don't be afraid to call us if they need help. Community members, community organizations, but you know, four months through the year, we have 16 deaths too many, but like the mayor said, we're probably clearly, anyone would take that numbers for a major city, but we won't be happy until we have zero homicides and zero shootings. Last question, and the 200 steps that this year? So far this year, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, to tell you the issue we're having, we got three guns off an individual from Maine yesterday, 70-year-old guy riding around the city with three guns. And, you know, if he parks that car somewhere, then those three guns are stolen, and then we're out there dealing with the violence from those three guns. And, you know, as we always say, you know, we still have the gun buyback program out there, so if people want to turn in their guns, if people... Um, want a gun lock, it, it, we have those. We usually send out letters. And obviously, if your gun's stolen, are you going to sell it or, you know, transfer it? By st state law, you got to go into a computer database and record that because, you know, that's the way we can trace guns and find out where all the guns are coming. So, you know, we got good gun laws here. Um, we just got to, you know, make sure they're enforced and, and also work with other states so they adopt our gun laws. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.